Running a successful PPC campaign can be tricky. Many advertisers end up wasting their hard-earned money leading them to believe that PPC isn't their cup of tea. Now imagine having full control over wasted ad spend, achieving profitable ACoS and analyzing and improving your ad campaigns with just a few clicks on a single platform. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patil, Product Evangelist at SellerApp and today I'm going to walk you through SellerApp's powerful advertising feature. Let's get started. After connecting your Amazon advertising account with SellerApp, log into the SellerApp dashboard and navigate to the overview page of the advertising feature. This page is designed to give you a bird's eye view of all of your advertising campaigns and their profitability. You can calculate your return on ad spend and return on investment based on the monthly ad budget and the target ACoS you're going to set. In order to set the target ACoS, click on the Calculate ROAS button in the top right corner. A pop-up will open. Here you have to enter the relevant details such as the target ACoS, monthly ad budget and the cost of goods. If you don't have a specific target ACoS in mind, no worries. Just choose a seller type that suits your current situation. Now let's break it down based on your seller type. First is launch. If you're introducing a new product into the market, focus on gaining impressions and increasing visibility. At this stage, it's all right to have a higher target ACoS. Next is growth. Once your product gains some traction and you start seeing conversions, it's time to strike a balance between the visibility and conversions. Keep optimizing your campaigns for better results. Next is mature. When your product or business is in mature stage of the cycle, your goal is to maximize the conversions while reducing your ad spend. Efficiency is key here. Based on the selected seller type, SellerApp's machine learning algorithm will automatically set a target ACoS for you. Once you are done, simply click on save and close and you're all set to track your campaign performance in the overview dashboard. Now, moving on to the overview section, this section displays important key performance indicators for all your campaigns. To begin, choose the desired date range from the calendar in the top right corner. Once selected, the dashboard will present a clear visualization of essential advertising metrics. Now, here are the KPIs you'll find in the overview section. Ad revenue. This represents the total revenue generated through all your advertising campaigns that is sponsored products, sponsored brands and sponsored display. Next is ad spend. It shows the total amount of money spent on all your advertising campaigns. Next is orders. This indicates the total number of orders placed for all your products during the selected time period. ACoS. That is, advertising cost of sale measures the advertising spend per dollar of revenue generated. A lower A cost signifies higher profitability for your campaign. This section displays four KPIs at a time. To see additional metrics, simply click on the plus sign on the right. You'll find metrics such as impressions, the number of times your ads were viewed by the customers, clicks, the total number of clicks on your ads across all your campaigns, CPC, the average cost per click of all of your campaigns combined, CTR, which is the average number of clicks per number of impressions. If you want to dig deeper, you can expand each metric by clicking on the little box in the top right corner of each graph. Now let's talk about the conversion funnel. This section visually re represents how your campaigns are converting. It shows the number of impressions that convert to clicks and the number of clicks that convert into sales within a specific period. By default, the data is shown for the past 14 days. Below the conversion funnel, you will see the percentage of impressions that converted into clicks and the percentage of clicks that converted into orders. Use this visualization to identify the areas in your campaigns that need optimization. For example, if you notice that more impressions are converted into clicks, but few clicks are resulting into sales, it could indicate a need to optimize your product listing. On the other hand, if the CTR is low, you may want to improve your product title and images to encourage people to click on the ad. When running successful advertising campaigns, it's crucial to understand what type of campaigns and targeting strategies generate the most revenue. That's where the revenue share data comes into play. It shows the percentage share of total ad revenue generated by different campaign types. 
such as the automatic and manual targeting type and sponsored product and sponsored brand campaigns. By analyzing this chart, you can identify the most effective targeting and campaign types and adjust your advertising strategy accordingly. Now let's move on to the performance section. This section helps you identify your best and worst performing campaigns within a specific period. It provides you essential KPIs for each campaign, including the ACoS, spend and orders. Non-performing campaigns are those that don't meet your target ACoS while underperforming campaigns have a high ACoS and consume a significant portion of your advertising budget. Performing campaigns, on the other hand, are the ones that convert well according to your target ACoS. Now, if you want to view all your campaigns, simply click on the view all campaigns in this section. Next up is the search term analysis section. Here you will get an overview of how your search terms perform across all your campaigns during a specific period. The search terms are categorized into three distinct categories, non-performing, these search terms don't receive enough impressions or clicks, underperforming, these search terms get clicks but result in little or no conversions. Next is performing, these search terms have a high click-through rate and conversion rates. For each search terms, you will find the following metrics such as average order per search term. This ratio represents the total number of orders received by the search terms divided by the total number of search terms in that category. Next is average ACoS. It's the percentage ratio of the total advertising spend on all of your search terms in a category by the total advertising revenue obtained from those search terms. Next is average CTR. This ratio is calculated by dividing the total number of impressions across all the search terms in a category by the total number of clicks received by those search terms. Average conversion rate. It measures the number of clicks across all your search terms in a category divided by the total number of orders received by those search terms. Lastly, we have the product performance section. This section provides an overview of all of your best and worst performing products across all of your campaigns during a specific period. Products are categorized into three types based on their performance. Non-performing, these products receive minimal impressions and clicks, suggesting that they may not be popular among all of your target audience. Next is underperforming. These products receive clicks but result in little or no conversions, indicating that they may not effectively convert the potential customers. Performing. These products convert well based on your target ACoS, indicating that they resonate with your target audience and drive sales. Now, for each product, you will find metrics such as impressions, clicks, orders, spend, ACoS, and CPC. You can use this data to identify the underperforming products and allocate your ad budget more effectively. On the other hand, for high performing products, consider allocating a higher ad budget to maximize the conversions and return on investment. As an Amazon seller, you are well aware of the crucial role that optimizing your advertising campaigns play in reaching more customers, increasing sales and ultimately growing your profits. However, managing multiple campaigns can be quite a daunting task. That's precisely why SellerApp has developed the Campaign Manager, a powerful tool designed to simplify campaign management and provide you with valuable insights through user-friendly graphs. With the Campaign Manager, you gain the ability to effortlessly track your campaign performance and the metrics in real time. It's never been easier to adjust your bids, budgets and the overall strategy to ensure optimal results. Furthermore, this feature offers a comprehensive analysis of your campaign data, allowing you to identify the areas for improvement and capitalize on new opportunities. The Campaign Manager is divided into two sections, each offering its own set of benefits. In the first section, Intuitive Graphs provide a clear understanding of your campaign level and portfolio level performance. These graphs offer insights into various metrics that shape your campaigns, including the ad revenue and ACoS. It helps you to visualize the revenue generated by your ad campaigns alongside the advertising cost of sale for a selected time period. A low ACoS signifies that your ads are performing well and bringing in revenue for a lower cost. Look for ways to optimize your campaigns and maximize the profitability. Next is conversion rate and orders. It allows you to gain valuable insights into your conversion rate and the number of orders generated by your ad campaigns. A higher conversion rate indicates that your ads are successfully converting shoppers into the customers, a key metric for measuring the campaign success. 
Next is click through rate and clicks. Monitor the total clicks and click through rate of your ad campaigns within a specific time frame. A higher click through rate signifies that your ads are resonating with your target audience and driving more clicks, boosting the effectiveness of your campaigns. Next is brand conversions. Estimate the cost of acquiring new customers and expanding brand awareness using this graph. It displays new to brand sales and orders for all of your campaigns, serving as a valuable metric for the business looking to grow their customer base. Brand change. Get a clear understanding of your brand's metric presence with this graph which illustrates the percentage of orders and sales from the new to brand shoppers this valuable information helps you to identify new growth opportunities and enhance your brand's reach cpc and impressions gain insights into the average cost per click and the number of impressions generated by your ad campaigns during a selected time period this data allows you to optimize your bids and budgets ensuring maximum ad visibility and reach in addition to campaign level metrics the all portfolios tab provides the same set of metrics for all of your portfolios. You can easily view metrics for different time frames by selecting the desired date range in the top right corner. The second half of the campaign manager offers a detailed breakdown of your active campaigns and their overall performance. On the left side, you can view all your sponsored products, sponsored brands and sponsored display campaigns. On the right side, you'll find the campaign attributes such as performance metrics and derived metrics. Now, campaign attributes allow you to view essential information about each campaign such as serving status, whether it is running or disabled, targeting, automatic or manual, portfolio name, sponsored ad type, start date and end date, and daily budget. These attributes provide a quick overview of your campaign's key characteristics. Performance metrics offer valuable insights into your campaign's effectiveness, including metrics such as impressions, net profit, available when your Amazon seller account is connected, clicks, sales, orders, NTB orders, NTB sales, spend, and CPC. These metrics help you evaluate the performance of your campaigns and make data-driven decisions. Derived metrics further enhance your understanding of your campaign performance. Key metrics in this category include ACoS, the conversion rate, return on ad spend, click-through rate, and target ACoS. Now, these metrics provide deeper insights into the efficiency and effectiveness of all of your campaigns. To make adjustments to your campaign, simply click on the edit icon beside the daily budget tab to access the campaign settings. From there, you can easily modify your campaigns to meet your specific needs. It's important to note that taking bulk actions can significantly improve your campaign management process by selecting the multiple campaigns and utilizing the available options in the right corner, such as adjusting bids, changing bidding strategies, extending or shortening the campaign durations, enabling or pausing the campaigns and archiving unnecessary campaigns, you can use time and effort. Now, detailed performance information for a specific campaign is just a click away. By selecting the desired campaign, you can access the informative graphs that provide valuable insights into the campaign level metrics. Additionally, you can review the performance of your ad groups within a campaign similar to account level metrics. This comprehensive view of the ad group performance allows you to fine tune your campaign and make informed decisions. Now, in the campaign manager, you can also analyze the performance of specific ad placements such as rest of search, product pages and top of search. Understanding the impact of these placements on your campaign's performance can help you optimize your strategies accordingly. For further customization, you can access the campaign settings tab to edit any other relevant information about your campaigns. Now, this level of flexibility enables you to tailor your campaigns to achieve maximum ROAS and advertising efficiency, aligning them with your specific business goals. Just like with campaigns, managing your ad groups becomes effortlessly through bulk actions. Now, by selecting multiple ad groups and utilizing the available options, you can easily save changes in one go, saving time and streamlining your ad group management. 
But that's not all. Seller App's campaign manager also offers a convenient bulk action feature. The smart solution on the Seller App dashboard enables you to create, edit, and optimize multiple campaigns simultaneously. With bulk actions, you can add or create new campaigns, ad groups, and keywords, pause specific elements, adjust placement bids, change bids for campaigns, ad groups, and keywords, and more. This feature simplifies campaign management, allows you to save time and effort while achieving your desired results. To learn more about how to utilize bulk actions effectively, you can find a detailed article in the description below. As an analytics platform, we are constantly working to ensure that our users have access to actionable data at their fingertips. So far, we have always made it a priority to ensure that each and every feature of the platform provides additional insights that helps users save time and effort as well as identify and address any strategic gaps that exist in the Amazon growth. This has led to the addition of a new feature in our advertising system that is targets and search terms. Now, this feature comprises of four subsections, search term explorer, keyword targets, ASIN targets, and product analysis. Now, let's look into each one of them in detail, starting with search term explorer. You know very well that search terms are words that customers type into the Amazon search bar while searching for a particular product. Analyzing these search terms is very important to understand your target audience better. It will help you rank higher on Amazon SERPs and gain more product visibility. Now, Seller App Search Term Explorer gives you insights on all the search terms attributed to your keywords at the campaign and ad group level. You can easily assess the performance of each search term and take actions to improve the overall campaigns using the Search Term Explorer. To begin, after logging into the Seller App platform, navigate to the Advertising, then select the Targets and Search Terms tab on your left. Under this, we have Search Term Explorer. On the Search Term Explorer page, we have search terms on the left side and we get all the information related to the search terms based on its tags, status, keywords, campaign name, ad group name, the targeting type, campaign type, match type, impressions, clicks, sales, spend, orders, cost per click, conversion rate, return on ad spend, click-through rate, and advertising cost of sale. Based on this useful information, we can evaluate which search terms are performing well and which are not. The search terms that are performing well can be added to your keywords by selecting them and clicking on the Create keyword. Now, the search terms which are not performing well can be paused for a while by selecting them and clicking on Mark Negative. In this way, you can eliminate the wasted ad spend and improve your return on investment. In order to get an extensive understanding of search terms, you can select them and click on the target keywords. With this, you can monitor the performance of the search terms. You can further find and filter the campaign data most relevant to you. Take relevant actions to improve the overall campaign performance. You can also copy and export the data for further analysis. Moving on to our next sub-feature that is keyword targets. The more you know about your keywords, the better it is for your campaigns. The keywords you intend to target in the ad campaigns are an essential part of where your business will go in the future. So Rap's keyword targets feature provides a comprehensive list of all your users' keywords across all sponsored products, sponsored brands, campaigns, along with the data at one place. Now, with this feature, you can analyze the performance and trends of the keywords in great detail, which will help you to be in a much stronger position to make the right decisions about which keywords to cut and which to invest more in. On the Keyword Targets page, we have keywords on the left side and we get all the information related to the keywords based on its primary attributes, performance metrics and derived metrics on the right. On the basis of this useful information, we can evaluate which keywords are performing well and which are not. Accordingly, you can select the performing keywords and go for Apply Suggested Bid, Adjust Bid or Enable. Now, enabling is activating that particular keyword now, if the keywords are not performing well, you can go for pause or archive options. Archiving is nothing but permanently removing the keywords off of your campaigns. You can also add the keywords to your relevant tags. Further, you can also find and filter the campaign data most relevant to you and take relevant actions to improve the overall campaign performance. In this way, Keyword Targets provides greater insights into the customer behavior over a period of time, which allows you to adjust your bids accordingly. Our next sub-feature is ASIN targets. 
as an Amazon seller, one tactic that is frequently overlooked when it comes to marketing your products is ASIN targeting. It enables sellers to improve their advertising funnels by strategically locating and targeting both weaker competitors and complementary products. Sellers can also target their own ASINs in order to protect their brands from losing sales to the competition. Now, in order to succeed in ASIN and category targeting, analyzing them from time to time is truly important to optimize your ACoS and maximize your profits. Now, SellerApp's ASIN targets feature facilitates a comprehensive list of all the users' product and category targets across all the sponsored products and sponsored brand campaigns, along with their data at one place. Now, this feature gives you granular control over ASINs and categories by providing relevant information and opportunity to optimize the bids that will reduce your wasted ad spend across all the campaigns. Now, let me show you in detail how the ASIN targets work. On the ASIN targets page, we have categories and ASINs on the left side and we get all the information related to them based on its primary attributes, performance metrics and derived metrics on the right. On the basis of this information, we can evaluate which categories and ASINs are performing well and which are not. Accordingly, you can select the performing ones and go for apply suggested bid, adjust bid or enable. Now, enabling is activating that particular category or ASIN. If the categories and ASINs are not performing well, you can go for pause or archive options. You can also add them to your relevant tags. Further, you can also find and filter the campaign data most relevant to you and take relevant actions to improve the overall campaign performance. In this way, ASIN targets help you to optimize your PPC campaigns to target better and assist you to win your competitor's traffic. Now, let's get our hands on our last sub-feature under targets and search terms that is product analysis. This feature facilitates data aggregation of parent and child ASINs that you are advertising in the ad groups of your ad campaigns at one place. You don't have to visit each ad group individually to check your product's data insights, allowing you to make critical product decisions faster. On the product analysis page, we have ASINs on the left side and we get all the information related to them based on the product attributes, performance metrics and derived metrics on the right. Based on the evaluation, you can make a decision for yourself whether to invest more into it or cut them off for your campaigns. You can further group them by ASIN and then uh, add them to your relevant tags and export the data. The last thing you want to do when running your ad campaigns is to throw money down the drain, right? With SellerApp, you can put a stop to that wasted ad spend, boost your website traffic and watch your business soar to new heights. That covers everything about part one of SellerApp's advertising feature. Part two is coming up real soon, so stay tuned. Once again, let me remind you that if you want to check out our advertising tool for yourself, you can find the link in the description below. Sign up today to our freemium plan. After all, the best way for you to get to know our tool is to use it and find out all the perks by yourself. And that's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to SellerApp. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topics. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. And as always, happy selling!